Hey there everyone, this is Rush Graham. I'm with the guild One Shot on the US side of Storm Rage. We're an alliance trading guild. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a que quick walkthrough of a few of the things that you can do on weak auras. Um, the main thing in particular is I'm going to show you how to do an icon with a cooldown timer on it. I know that's a real popular thing with some people and not a lot of people are familiar with actually how to use the add-on. It is a little bit complicated, but once you get used to it, it's really not that hard at all to use. Um, for example, like if you look here, you see Penance, Powered Solace, Spirit Shell, Pain Suppression. All these right here are basically my cooldown bar. And I can see the spell and I know what it is. And I also, down here, it'll pop up with um, the cooldown. But that's really too far away to look sometimes, especially whenever you're looking at health bars and stuff being a healer. So I like to have them up here. Now whenever I hit one of these spells like Divine Star, you can see the cooldowns start to pop up. And we'll go into weak orders and we'll look at it real fast. So for example, the spell I showed you was Divine Star. So I've made the weak aura for it, and I've changed the size and everything, but if you come down here, there's a second one for it as well that shows the timer. Now I'm going to show you how to make that. So first we're going to come to new and we're going to make an icon. Now I'm just going to... I don't know if I adjusted the size of it. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to move it up there to keep it out of the way. And we're just going to do this one for penance. We're going to name this one penance YouTube. Just because it's for you guys. And then we're going to click the cooldown button here. Now we're not going to have any text in this just yet. And we're just going to make a separate one for the text to make it look a little bit better. Um, you can have it set to an automatic icon. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, but we'll just come here and we'll pick the icon ourselves. Alright, so now you can come down and you can adjust the width and the height however you want it. See, I got it a little bit off the what it started, it went up a square. You can adjust it to however you want it. If you looked at mine before, they're a little bit smaller, which that's okay. You can have them bigger or smaller however you want it. Now we're going to come into our triggers, and we're going to add a trigger, and we're going to go require for activation any trigger. Okay, trigger one. The type is going to be a status. Sorry. <laughs> the type is going to be a status, and we're going to click cooldown progress on spell. Now come down here, and we're going to need to change the spell name to penance and OK. Now, you can click ignore rune CD, but there isn't really a rune that we have to worry about, so you can leave this checked or unchecked. Now we're going to come back to trigger 2. And it's going to be type, status, and it's going to be action usable. And then we're going to have to change this, of course, again to penance. Well, if I could type, E N A C. Alright, cool. Now, it should display this, and it should have the penance icon up the entire time. See, there's the penance icon, and after cast in penance, you see the cooldown start. But we still don't have these numbers yet. We're going to want to get these numbers up here so that you know exactly how long is left. So then I'm going to come back into weak auras, and we're going to create a new one and this is going to be a text now I'm going to rename this pen youtube city okay and you can put this in a group and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute but for now we're going to come into display and we're going to pull this out and now we're going to want to go into percent p okay so that's going to show the remaining time of the timer, which is going to be our cooldown. Then you're going to come down here and click accept. Now, you can change the text color of this. I like to do all mine red. It's more noticeable. And I also bring the color picker all the way up to bright red, just to make it nice and bright for me. Now here you can justify it, left, center, right. The way I'm going to adjust it, I don't really have to justify it left, center, or right. Um, here you can change the font. I'm fine with the font that it's at right now. And you're also going to need to adjust the size. 
Now I'll up the size to about 40. Um, with this icon that we have, it probably doesn't need to be that big. But you're also going to want to center this on where the icon is. So you can control click and you're going to move this over the icon. So obviously this is just a little bit too big. So let's bring this down to about 35. Bam. 35 looks just about perfect for this icon and you want to center it on your icon. Awesome. So now we're going to click on the cooldown, the text again, and then we're going to come over to trigger. The trigger is going to be a status and then cooldown progress of a spell and then we're going to have to change this again to penance. Now that's at penance and this should track our CD on our penance now. I just moved it. Oops. Now control click that again and bam there. For some reason I'm getting errors popping up. I'll have to look at that a little bit later and send in some error reports. That's going to annoy me. Alright now what we're going to do is we're going to set these in a group. So I'm going to click new group and it's going to be the YouTube group. So now we have these two spell, these two weak auras, and they're stacked on top of each other, and we want to put them together so that we can move them together. This little arrow, you click this little arrow, and you click on the group, and it'll move it in there. So now we move these into our group, and open up your group, and there you go, it's right there. Now let's X out of weak auras, and then click, and now you have your cooldown timer. Yeah, you can move along and make one for each and every spell just like I have. For example, I made it for all those cooldowns, which it takes a little bit of time, but it's actually really simple to do. The way I do it is I just right click like penance and I duplicate it. And then we'll make this one for powered solace. So now the only thing you have to do is change the spell. Now, for you priest people out there that actually use Power Word Solace instead of Mindbender, you're going to want to type Holy Fire. And it'll change it because it'll notice that you have the talent selected. Okay. And bam. Then, what you'll do is you can move it along. And you'll just control click. And you can line up the spells just like that to make that straight line. Or you can go into the group this is really gonna annoy me this keeps popping up all the time or you can go into the group and click on the group and then you can start adjusting how much space horizontally how much distribute horizontally and vertically okay. this add-on really isn't that hard to use but some people think it is pretty complicated when at first it actually is pretty complicated until you get the hang of it I am going to be making more tutorials in the future to help you all out. If you do have anything that you want to specifically request, feel free to ask me in the comments below, or go ahead and you can send me a message if you're able to. But this is going to end my video for now. It isn't that long, but it's coming over some of the basics of weak auras. Thank you all for watching, and uh, be sure to tune into the live stream. I'll have the link posted below for our heroic raid nights. Thanks.